Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, today I'm very excited because I have my fabulous, talented sister Frida with me. <laughs> and today she's going to be teaching you how to make a packing tape fabric attache case. I think this is fabulous. Thank you. I like it too. I mean, this is amazing. It's, it's, it's got a sturdy quality it's to very it. Very sturdy. You could put books in here. You could put your artwork in here. I mean, you could put lots and lots of stuff in here. What I love about it is that you can, because it is our packing tape fabric, which if you haven't checked it out already, go and see our tutorial on how to make your very own packing tape fabric. What's great about it is that you can make it as personalized as you want. So mm -hmm. if it's your art bag, you could cover it with your own artwork, which I, I love. It's a great idea. So you're going to show us how to make one. It's going to be a little tiny bit smaller than this yes. one, right? Yes. So what you've used for this is, I believe, and you tell me if I'm wrong, but you have used scrapbook paper. Is that right? Yes. What we're um, about to make is all scrapbook paper. Okay. And our pieces that we have here are, what do we say, three inches, no, six inches. Well, this is one piece of scrapbook paper. Is that correct or is this two pieces? This is one piece of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper that I cut in half and then put a glue stick and the, uh, to stick the two sides together and then um, covered it in packing tape and made the packing tape fabric out of it. Okay. And it is about six inches by 12 inches. So, well, this is the regular length of the scrapbook paper 12 itself. 12 inches is the regular length. And you've cut it in half. Correct. Great. I love this uh, superhero. She's great. I know. Isn't she fabulous? I think that's superhero pattern scrapbook paper, isn't it? I think yeah, everything the in... the whole thing was a whole awesome collection of they different have superhero these, things. They have these scrapbook paper booklets and collections where they have entire themes, and this one I think happened to be... Superhero. Superhero. Okay, so you've got your six inch pieces, um, six by 12 on the sides. Yes. These are going to be the sides. Yes, and I'm laying them out here. I'm going to lay them out in a pattern, the form of the pattern okay and this is the inside and this is the outside okay because you want the fabulous girl outside correct let me okay. just double check i did that right it's right okay, okay. so now, now i make sure she's not upside down yeah no <laughs> okay so you've got that so then i noticed you're leaving space here why is that this is the bottom of the bag ah got it and this strip is three inches by okay. 12 inches by 12 inches okay and i'm going to lay that there and so you've left a little space in here is there a reason for that Yes, because when we connect all of these pieces together with the duct tape, mm -hmm. um, we want them to be able to bend up on each other. So okay. we want to have that space. If they were connected tightly, they would bow out when Got you're it. bending them up. And now they're going to make a lovely box. Okay, so if we're going to leave, leave about, what is that, about a sixteenth of an inch? Yeah, a sixteenth okay. of an inch. Okay. okay, and then we have our side pieces, which for pattern's sake I'm laying out on the sides here. And I'm going to assume that these are going to be whatever this height this was, is six, six inches, inches, and then that's going to be three inches, right? That's To correct. match that. That's correct. Okay, great. All right, so now... So you get this measurement for this little side piece. It's going to be this bottom and this side. Yes, yes. Okay, so, so now, now we're, we're just going to connect them. Okay, and you're connect just going to use... Pattern. She's going to use duct tape for this because if you watched in our earlier videos when we explained about uh, the packing tape fabric, the one thing about it is that packing tape is not the best for binding the sides because it has a tendency to, to release or, or shred. It sort I guess of rips. It, yeah. it does. It's sort of, it, well, it's funny because it doesn't rip rip, but because of the sharpness of the edge, it yeah. sort of splits right down the middle. So you do want to have a duct tape fabric for your edging only because it's got a weave, a woven kind of fabric in there, um, and so it's it's not going to pull apart. It's going to be much sturdier and much stronger. And so I'm just using half pieces here. So would you show everybody what you've done there? You've taken your tape and what have you done with it? You've ripped. I ripped it, it in half. Long ah! ones. So, okay. so you want to measure out? I'd love that. Yeah, thanks. Okay, I'll hold that for you. Measure this out. So show everybody what you're going to do. You're ripping it right down the middle. Rip it down the middle. Got it. And this is the, again, this is the inside of your purse. That is right. And then I'm just going to go ahead and connect there to connect here. Okay. This is the most like pattern driven type sort of thing. You've got all your little pieces and now we're just going to put them all together. Okay. And you want to make clean edges there. Okay. So you don't want to leave those overhanging. No, because when you 
when we assemble the bag, that's going to be an issue if there's extra little pieces that are going to get in our way. So, so just wanna... you just want to make sure that when you're putting this together, let's make sure I lined that up. I didn't slip it, did I? You you're, okay? You're good. Um, you're just going to make sure that you rip off or cut off any little extra overhangs. You want to make sure that it's just tight up against your, your fabric. Yes. See, underneath. Okay, sounds good. Cut this off. Okay, so now it's time for us to sort of bend this into position. Okay. So we're just going to come up like that, and there it is. It makes like a little box. It almost. does. So if you hold that. I will hold. I will rip pieces for the outside. Okay. So are we going to secure, which side are we going to secure first? Um, let's just secure this, this side and this side first, and okay. then we'll do the insides and the Sounds bottom. Good. We're going to secure. So you're measuring? Yeah. And you're going to use half pieces again? Yes. Okay, so she's going to split those half pieces. You want to do this side. Let's just pull it up like that for you. And it's nice to have a second set of hands here. Or you know what else is really great is a box or any oh. kind of thing. You could put a little piece of wood in it. Oh, a box inside, you mean? Yeah, to, put, to make sure you get crisp corners if you're working alone. But it's so nice because you helping me do this makes it just perfect without anything inside. But yeah, if you put something inside that's about that size, then you can push down against it. Got and, it. Um, and then you want to do the bottom too, right? Sure, why not? Just basically, oh, well, you want to do the other side first? Yeah. Okay. There basically, you you're just going to seal all of the corners here. Okay, so she's sealing these corners. And then are we going to seal all the other corners too? Everything is getting sealed, yes. Ah. So everything will get sealed, including the inside, right? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to fold this up and let this... Let's do the bottom. What's great about this, though, is that you could... Can like, you do the other side? Sure. Literally, what you could do is you could put... Um, you could leave it at this stage, right? And use this almost as a, as a box to keep things. Absolutely. Yeah, there's no reason it needs to become a purse. I just love little purses. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, purses I are I want great. to put a handle on everything, everything. and make it a purse. <laughs> I don't even really carry purses. I just love the idea of little purses. <laughs> okay, so now let's just show them. You want to do the inside? Well, I was oh. just going to say that this was, was the inside that was sealed. And as you can see here, there's a little stickiness. And so because of that stickiness, we want to come back and seal every edge, don't we? Oh, yes, absolutely. You're going to reinforce every edge. I mean, if you remember back, I mean, it was just a whole bunch of little pieces. Right. And so just yeah, like... Sides. Oh, thanks. Just like with any of our purses that you can see on our website, you always seal the inside and the outside. Not only does it strengthen it, but it makes sure that nothing gets stuck to it too. Because there's nothing worse than opening up a purse and having stuff stuck to it. It's the worst thing that could ever happen. <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. Ever. <laughs> it's the worst thing ever. I have stuff stuck to my purse. No, you know what? I remember when when we were little and mom had that purse and she would always have those, you remember she always used to have those like little lifesaver suck them oh, kind suck of thing? them things, like uh, holes or something. Right, yeah, and, cough and there was always like one or two that would come out of their little contain, you know, the little wrapper. Yeah. And they'd be, like you'd go to get something out of her purse, like change or something, and yeah. there'd be those nasty suck them stuck to the inside of the purse. It just, it happens. Sorry, mom. Don't be judgy, it happens. <laughs> Don't be judging. <laughs> Don't be judging. Okay, so we're almost done, right? Yep, let's do that side, and then we'll split this piece of tape in half, and we'll do the insides just to reinforce. Okay. You could have basically done this in any order you wanted to. This is just... So inside, if you see here, we're still just missing, because these all, these inside pieces all sealed when, when we were just folding it up because yes. they were done on the inside already. But we're missing this side and this side. That's it, right? Yep. Okay, so why don't you do your side first? So she's going to just take her tape and she's going to seal in that edge. I don't know if there's no way you can see this. <laughs> Sorry. It's going to be my secret. Oh, you know what? Uh, also the bottom, too. I'm realizing. Oh, there's there a little piece on the bottom. Maybe will be better at showing the inside there. So basically what we've got here is we've got this little little side here and I'm just going to put it in the corner and seal it right like that. 
I never do as good a job as you do. <laughs> Great job. Great job. <laughs> oh, yeah, and there's a little, and a little bottom. And a little bottom. This is so cute. I already am completely in love with this little purse. Well, I love superheroes. I like the idea of superheroes. No, the superhero idea is very cute. Um, what's great about these scrapbook papers is that they come in so many different designs. It's amazing. I, I'm always in shock at what, what kind of things they have. I saw one. It's hard to all, choose. You have I to know. like limit yourself. Like, there was oh, one like cityscapes and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to make the straps. Let's, should we put a handle on or should we put this on? Either one. Oh, the closer strap. Yeah, let's let's show them how to put the closer strap on. Okay, so um, I was thinking that we could duct tape it here mm -hmm. and then um, bring it over to the front. So you're going to make a sliding tongue slap? Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to duct tape in the center here. So what she's done is, again, just made a, another strip of the packing tape fabric. And this is uh, what, about an inch? I, this is about an inch yeah. wide. This is about an inch and a quarter wide, and it's about 10 inches long. Okay, and she's going to just attach that, and we're going to put about an inch and a half on the inside there. Let's see if we can show them that free. About an inch and a half in there, two inches in there, and sealed it nice with the tape so it's nice and secure. Now, I call this a tongue closure because this to me looks like a tongue. Uh, and what you're going to do is we're just going to make like a little slip for this to stick into. And to do this, we're going to do a fold-over strip. Do you want to show them how to do a fold-over strip? Single or three? I would do a triple. triple. So this is a triple fold-over strip. Any time that you fold duct tape onto itself, we call it a fold-over strip. We're going to call this a triple because it's going to get folded over once, twice, three times. There we go. Beautiful. Well, it's actually only folded over twice, but it's in three. So there we go. We got our fold-over strip. We'll snip the ends to make it nice and neat. Right? And what we're going to do is place it right about there, and we're going to tape it on either side here, mm -hmm. and then this is going to slip down into it, and that's going to be the closer, and that's going to keep it from opening up. Yeah. So what kind of tape are you going to use there? I'm going to use duct tape. I suppose that you could use packing tape, but I'm it, going to use duct tape. Because well, actually, to tell you the truth, you could, you know what, why don't we use packing tape so we don't mess up our beautiful okay. design? You want to grab some packing tape? I think we got some over there. Got some. And then you can... Put that, what she's going to do is put packing tape on either side here, nice and secure. Because it's not an edge, I think it'll be completely yeah. fine. Okay, I would go over a little bit further. Let's put our tongue in place. So you want to put your tongue in place so that you don't tape where the tongue needs to go. Because if you tape it shut, then the tongue can't go in. I would go up and over just to secure it. There you go. So we're going to fold it up and over. And she's going to secure it down. Beautiful. And then do the other side. I love tongue closures because it's a great, you don't have to use Velcro, you don't have to use a button, you don't have to use a snap. It just closes on itself and it stays closed. They're really good. Okay. Sorry, get my hand out of the way. Helping hands. Helping hands, helping hands. <laughs> I always think of that scene in Labyrinth with all of those hands where it's like, you're helping, you're hurting. <laughs> you're not okay. helping, you're hurting. <laughs> okay. okay, so now we want to make the strap, right? Yes. And again, you've just taken another piece of this uh, scrap of paper and you've turned it into a long strap. Yep. So did you glue these together, these pieces together, or did you just tape them together, or how did you do that? I just used some glue stick first okay. and then put the packing tape on top. And I don't know if you can see here, but she did overlap. So there's overlap here and overlap here to make sure, like, like a sandwich. Joined. So yes. the first piece went down like this, and the second piece went down like this, and they overlapped so that they join together. And when you tape that and glue that, that's going to make, make sure that that's nice and sturdy. Okay, so you're going to put a hole punch there. Do you want to do that side? Sure. And a hole punch on that side. I heard you were really good at putting brads in. <laughs> it's my forte. Okay, so you're going to put your brad in. I'll put my brad in. Okay. We're going to put the handle on the inside. So we're just going to slide outside. that brad through the, through the hole. Open it. And then on the inside, you got yours? Yes. Okay, so then in the inside, we just open her up. And just to protect from any sharp edges and stuff, we're just going to fold those over in on themselves, right? Yeah, sure. 
I, I mean, it couldn't hurt. It seems like a great idea. And then we just add a little extra piece of tape over top of it just to secure that in place. We're not going to do it on this side because you know what to do. Cool. And that's it, right? I love it. I love it too. It's fantastic. It's a super purse, Frida. It's super. <laughs> For more super ideas, come and check us out at sophie-world.com. <laughs>